Good morning. On these cold winter days, I love to watch the flames of my fire flickering and alive. Just to see them makes me feel warm. But there are days when I struggle to light the fire and it stays unlit. No life, no warmth. And our lives can be a bit like that. Sometimes we feel alive and warm and others we feel more dark and cold. During my time in Africa, I learnt that if a person's life has hope, it is life-giving. But if someone becomes hopeless, they literally could die. People were abandoned by their family and friends because they had contracted HIV and were sick. Often they will become hopeless and die. These were the people that we searched for. Believe that that is who God wants to find. Hope and faith go together. People would feel abandoned not only by their family, but also by God. I will always remember the words of one lady. She said, I've been abandoned by God. The missing ingredient I always find was love. To be cared for. In 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13, it says these three things remain. Faith, hope and love. And the greatest of these is love. If we are not loved, then we will suffer. If we don't give love, we will also suffer. We suffer hopelessness and loss of faith. We cannot be faithful to God and abandon or not care for those in need. Returning from South Africa has been one of the loneliest times of my life and I admit it has affected my faith in humanity and I could see that my faith in God was becoming like a dying fire. But now things have changed as I reached out to him, the God who has hope. God showed me what true loneliness is and now I am grateful for this. For he has helped me and equipped me in the conversations I have with patients who are also very lonely. During this time of Covid, the lockdowns have isolated people so much especially those living alone, those who are carers looking after their loved ones, those who are suffering with mental health or suffering with addictions or other illnesses. I have witnessed more suffering with loneliness than ever before. Just to have a conversation with, with someone has brought encouragement to them. Many have said, thank you so much for ringing. I feel so much better now. Being able to give them a place where they can get help is also important. Maybe the food bank if they need food or an organisation to help them with their mental health or addiction. These all show that you care. Also to pray with them has brought much um, help for them. The main skill we need today is to listen. Listen and hear the person's story. Offer prayer and encouragement. Help them know that they're not alone. Please, if you are watching and feel lonely, reach out to the God of hope. He is listening and he hears and sees you. If you know someone who is lonely, or who might be, light the fire of your heart and reach out to them. You never know, you may also find that God speaks to you. Encourage, give hope and offer prayer. Help them know the God of hope. Maybe you could share the Facebook page for the Sunday worship or the Wednesday reflection. Let's pray. 
May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may be filled with hope by the power of his Holy Spirit. Amen.